Hey guys, I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome back to Satisfactory. As you can see, we have everything set up now. We've got copper wire, we've got rods, and we've got plates all being fed into these crates automatically. So we don't have to do a dang thing with this anymore. But last time I said that we were going to try automating. Oh, I just got a hardcore parkour over my base. We were going to try automating the concrete because I need a lot of it. If I'm going to start setting up a base with tons of uh, foundation, I'm going to need quite a lot of this stuff. And, you know, I'm just going to go and pick up these portable miners. Honestly, I am not sure. Looking back at that other episode, I am not sure why I decided to make another portable miner when that one over there would have been fine. I don't know. My brain was just like, I want to make another one. And now I'm just left with a portable miner that has nothing to do, basically. So I don't know where my thought process was going there. I also need five rods for this this thing, this miner, which we can just grab off of the conveyor as they come out because, you know, I'm a hooligan like that. Gimme, gimme. I almost wanted to press F, which is the pickup key in Factorio. And I'm realizing I haven't actually played Factorio since... Since before the last episode I did of this, and I don't know why my brain keeps going back to that by default. Wait, why is there a gap there? Oh, was that when the power went down? That might have been when the power went down. And also, am I really going to be this, like, particular about how I'm going to put this? This is a smelter. I'm trying to make the wrong thing. I kind of want it to line up with the base. Ah, oh, is that lined up, though? I don't know. Am I really going to be this fussy about it? No, that isn't lined up. That that is. Uh. Give this this. Sure. Ah. Uh, whatever. That's that's good enough. That'll have to be good enough. That's weird. Why is it like that? I think that is. Yeah, I think that is it. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't look like it, but I think it is. Weird. Whatever. So I don't actually need to smelt these. I just need to make them into the concrete. So, really, I should probably make some more foundation to just be able to work with here. Uh-oh. Put that in a weird place. Oh, no. Where'd it go? Oh, is it just stuck? Is it just stuck in a void now? Oh, it's there. Gimme, gimme. This is the problem with foundations is they can snap, but, man, can they snap weird sometimes. Also, it's, it's going to look a bit gaudy right now. I'll tighten it up. I don't mind using a bit of excess uh, concrete to just make it look neat and actually, like, fill it all up. But we'll see. Maybe I won't need to. I'm basically doing this to kill time while my other machines farm the amount of stuff that I need to upgrade the, the, the hub. <laughs> so I'm not really doing this for any, any real reason other than that. Uh, oh no, I only need the small one. There you go, small ram. Nice, okay. And then we can have these here just to fill it out. Oh, I have no concrete left, so I guess we won't. Okay, so I want to make a crafter here. And I guess I won't worry too much if the concrete isn't nearby the base. And I mean, it's not like it's the end of the world if I have to run around a little bit. Okay, so I need a constructor. Which means I'm going to need reinforced plates and cables. Ah, oh, you'll have to forgive me if my voice sounds a little bit weird today. I haven't quite used my voice, so uh, it's a little off. Mmm, sure. About there, maybe. Yeah, you'll have to forgive me for that. Uh, wait, is that not the right height? That's weird. Oh, is it too long? What the fuck? Too long. Okay, sure. We'll... Uh, we'll put this here. We'll have to raise it up, I think, because it doesn't look like we're going to be able to reach otherwise. Bop, and then on this side. There's that, okay. Then that goes... That is way off. What in the world did I think of there? Okay. Well, oh, it's probably because I found out one side, but not the other. Wait, what was I deleting? What did I just delete? Was there foundation under there? I deleted something, but I don't know what it was. Okay, weird. Um, so yeah, I need to I need to have it like here. There we go. And then put that there, and then put that there. So that shall feed into that, and that will feed into the concrete, which will 
or the the uh, constructor, which will then make the concrete. It doesn't matter too much how much distance this takes, because I'm not really going to be too picky on that one. And then just the final container here. There we go. Simple as. Don't need anything too fancy for this one, considering it's just making concrete and that's it. So the only downside is I'm pretty sure my network isn't going to be able to provide the en uh, enough power for me to be able to do this. Considering, yeah, it's reaching its limit as is, just by one. So I can't really power the other two machines without turning off some of the others. And they are making the stuff that we need for upgrading the hub, which will allow me to make more stuff. So it's not like it's completely useless. It's just that I'm basically on a waiting game. Unless I want to, like, do some stuff myself. You know what? That's probably not a bad idea. Let's just, uh... Oh, let's just put down some of these. Uh, I can't do the copper, unfortunately, because I do not feel like going and running over there. Uh, well, actually, I'll do it on this side. Yeah, I'll do it here. I don't feel like going over and... Well... Huh? Oh. <laughs> I'm forgetting all my buttons! Ah, oh, god dang. Alright, so yeah, we'll do that. And then, I guess... I guess I'll stick one of them still working on the, on the limestone, because, like... It could come in handy. May I parkour real good around these things? I have enough copper in my inventory just from before to be able to make the amount of copper wire that I need to just... Like, I don't even need the automation at this point. So I might as well just do that. <laughs> I might as well just do that. I'll be quicker than waiting for it to do it automatically. And that way I'll just have a shit ton left. You know, in my own, in my own stock for various other things I want to make. Which is fabulous. I love that. And this doesn't take very long, even though it is kind of like, you know, tedious in a way. But I'm just kind of sitting here, you know? Might as well make it all into that stuff, because I might need cable later as well, so... Why not? Why not indeed? There we go. Nice. And that's just the amount that we need. Bam! It's really the plates that are going to take the most, even though it really shouldn't, considering... Yeah, wow. I had enough in there, just about. Do I even have enough rods? I do. Nice. Do I have enough of these? Not quite, but we're getting close, so that's good too. Bam and bam. Okay, so yeah, we only need a, a, a bit. We only need 39 more. They have definitely increased the speed in which the portable miners work, I swear. Like, I never used to remember them getting to 100 that quickly. It's pretty amazing, honestly. <laughs> it's kind of cool. One of the things that we need to do, oh man, I'm actually looking forward to being able to explore the world a bit because at some point I am getting ahead of myself a bit, but there's a point where we're able to make upgrades for our machines, like things that legitimately make them go way faster with the cost of power being used quite uh, a lot higher. So, oh yeah, I just need to continue making more of these. So uh, that is going to encourage us to go and explore around the world. I wonder if they've made it so that the other items can be used yet. Because there are some items you can find out in the field which do some amazing things. Uh, but there are also some things that don't do anything at the moment. All right, so we can upgrade the hub. I was going to say, that looked weird, but okay, we're good. <laughs> Congratulations, you have unlocked Hub Feature Molecular Analysis Machine, also known as the MAM. Building Biomass Burner, Building Space Elevator, Equipment Object Scanner, Equipment Beacon, Additional Hand Equipment Slot. Motivational Message, Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Additionally, the MAM provides the opportunity to send samples of xenobiology and other materials I deem relevant to R&D in exchange for appropriate rewards. Note. Future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and thus initiating project assembly. Good luck. Okay, are you done talking now? Jesus. <laughs> so basically that means we're left to our own devices now. There's no more tutorial. 
there is just stuff we can do. And there are two tiers at the moment, which we can work through. And if we want more tiers, we need to complete the space elevator in certain phases. The space elevator is the thing that I said we didn't have on the previous build, like the previous map that I showed you. Because, well, let me show you. It's a special thing. Uh, it's because it's fucking massive! <laughs> this thing is huge and requires a shit ton of materials to even make. It's absolutely ginormous and it's great i love it don't worry we're gonna build it pretty soon i imagine because i'm gonna basically completely pave out this area and build it and you're gonna see it in action and oh boy because we need it anyway to upgrade uh, and that's what i said i did in the other one is i made it i upgraded stuff and then i got rid of it so there are some things we can do we can work on upgrading utilities which gives us things like biofuel which will be very handy for what we're going to do we also have logistics which allow us to get splitters and mergers for conveyor belts as well as conveyor lifts and just uh you can see the efficiency of each building oh i didn't know that that's neat we have personal storage, which is purely just to upgrade ourselves, and another, we can build personal storage boxes. And conveyor walls, which is if you want to build a, like, big factory looking building. They look fancy, but I don't see if there's, I don't see that there's any actual reason to do that other than aesthetics. But we might as well do it anyway. Now we have the tier 2, which will allow us to make things like a advanced assembly machine, basically. An assembler, which is like the constructor but with two slot items or like two things that require two items rather than just the one a rotor and a modular frame which is mainly used for other crafting things like the chainsaw which <laughs> oh boy we need this asap we need this very very fast uh, i mean the inventory slots is nice we have jump pads which are mainly used for getting around the base uh, allows us to jump around up uh, up heights and if we want to land in the ujilly landing pad for a nice safe landing and we also have walkways which will allow us to obviously get around a bit better not having to jump over all of our things uh, and be able to get around the base a little quicker we also have the ma'am which we can use to research actually we have a few things we can do in this which involves the things that we found uh, let's do the nuts first because this will maybe come in handy i imagine it's probably something to do with oh, probably something to do with healing how much is it going to take five minutes okay we'll be begin analysis there we go benin ag analysis <laughs> put them back okay i want to focus on i'm kind of i'm kind of wanting to focus on logistics because having oh no the biofuel though yes no we should probably do that because the biofuel is going to be very useful especially considering we can now make biomass burners and i kind of should make one of those so i can actually use my limestone thing so let's go and get a few supplies we only need a few of each so this will be good we can uh bop and then bop we need 10 of those and 10 of these oh that's whatever and oh i see how it works okay it's it's stacking them like that well whatever there we go close enough so yes this is a biomass burner we can put this just basically anywhere i don't think it matters uh i guess i'll put it on the edge uh, okay so i'm gonna need to extend the grid some which means i'm gonna need another power pole um i don't have any concrete on me that's that's funny. <laughs> That's funny when I think about it. There we go. Have some concrete. Oh, I'm also going to need some wire as well. Do I actually have any? I do. I have some wire. Nice. Or cable. Sorry, whatever. Put a power pole in. There you go. Just there. That will do. Okay. So I will attach this to this. And then we will shut everything down for the time being. To be able to attach these to this. And then that to this. There we go. So now that should be good. Is it working everything again? Yes, it is. Okay. So now we should be able to power up the other one. Do I actually have any biomass left? No, got to go out and get some. But at least then we'll be able to automate everything. So let me let me quickly go and collect some biomass and, you know, we'll do our good stuff. Okay, so turn that power on. <clears throat> and now that increases our capacity to 60. 
So now we should be able to work on getting power to the other thing. Am I actually going to need... Oh, I need rods. Oh, God, it's getting dark. There we go. <laughs> Man, this game looks so cool in the dark. I love the contrast. Like, everything looks so, like, nice. Though, that could just be my current setup. I don't know how it looks on YouTube. But hopefully it looks nice to you. Like, the contrast is so good. YouTube can only do can only do so much justice to games like this, considering. But hopefully it looks good nonetheless. So we need to power two things. Let me just climb up here to get a better view. Um, what do we? Where do we want to like put this? Oh, I suppose we could. We could. Yeah, we could probably use the power pole from over there to this. Yeah, there we go. We can use that. Put that over there. Put that to you. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Is that good? Well, that's got... That's red because it's not... It's not got anything to make. Uh, concrete. <clears throat> so now... Yeah, okay. So that's waiting for an input. And so now this is mining this. Yeah, okay. So now we have... Concrete automator, automation. Automation. Words. Words good. So now we have uh, automation for everything that we need for the time being. The thing is yeah, now... Oh! The thing is now, uh, we need to try and get automation enough to be able to work towards getting the assembler. Because the assembler will allow us to automate some of the things we need for more advanced things. So, like, the the what are they called i can never remember what the reinforced iron plates that's it these things so we need something to be able to make it so that we can get screws and iron plates and then put them together automatically but for the time being what we should make is something we can make in this i believe is the object scanner because this is going to be very good for us to do that, we actually need to make a beacon. So I'm actually going to remove that and make the beacon first. So I need some wire and some iron plates. That's not too bad. Uh, I'm just going to take whatever wire and then I don't know some whoop some iron uh, no stack them <laughs> some iron plates. There we go. <laughs> Can we make a beacon and that way? Bup, bup, bup. Oh, I accidentally made more than I needed. I needed three. I didn't make more than I needed. Ha ha ha. Okay, so then we need screws and reinforced iron plates, which we need to make screws. We actually need a few of these. So we'll take a few of those. And then we need a few of these. Because to make reinforced iron plates, we need a bunch of everything. So da 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 da. Make four of those. And then I'll make a bunch more screws. Okay, there we go. And then, whoop. We make the object scanner. Pow! Nice! I'm going to put some of my uh, excess stuff away. Just so I don't waste inventory slots. It's just a personal habit of mine. I apologize. Ah, just something that I can't, I can't get myself to step down from. Okay, so. What choices do we have to scan for here? Mushroom, nut, berry, mercosphere, sumo sloop? Crash sites? Enemies? Ah, oh, power slugs. Okay. So, we are looking for power slugs. That up there, you see that? That is something we need. Let's go and pick it up. Because we actually need one of these to start research to be able to make what we want. Now, this scanner is going to beep depending on how close we get to it. By the way, is there is something really appealing to me about futuristic... I think I've mentioned this. Futuristic old-looking tech, like... Oh, friend. Are you trying to eat the iron? Can I pet you yet? No, you're still... You're still... You're just stuck. That's great. So, the, yeah, there's something I really like about, you know, we have this futuristic tech where we've got these miners going onto conveyor belts and all of this advanced technology. And yet, this scanner looks like it's something ripped straight out of the 80s. Oh, no. Is it up there? Oh, no. Is it up? Yeah, I think it is. It's up there. 
Ah, oh, man, how are we going to get up there? Oh, there's one up there, too. There's quite a few around the world that kind of hide in places, and you got to try and find them. Well, we'll, uh, we'll try and climb up this mountain. Oh, I think, I think we found the way up, lads. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. This is the way. All this for something that is actually really useful for us. Nothing up here, is there? Usually these things are protected, unless they're like some of the early game ones, I guess. Hey, here we go. Nice, a green power slug. Hey, all right, I'm gonna, oh wait, no, I can't, I can't just put it away. Mushroom, nut, berry, Mercer sphere. What is that? Mercer sphere. Hmm. Ooh, dang it. I'm curious to see what that is. Oh, I like they're all color coded. Interesting. Well, we'll we'll, um, we'll have it still set on power slugs for now. Uh, I need to get, just get down, so. Ha ha! The coral broke my fall, I guess. All right, so. Oh. Oh yeah, now I can see what it made me. Barrel nuts can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier one. Oh, it's just saying I can add it to a list of things that I'm looking for. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. All right, so green power slug analysis go. Yeah, so now it's going to be scanning this. I'm going to go out and have a little look around for some more. Wait, is there another one in that direction? Oh, well, mm, there was one in that direction too. Let's go and explore a bit because honestly, that's the best way we're going to find some of this hidden stuff is just have a little look around our area and see what is out there in this beautiful world. Now, I'm not sure what is out there considering I've never been on this map before past the areas that you've seen me explore. So I'm looking forward to seeing... What is that? Is that something? Ooh, oh, no, that's just one of the roamers. Okay. What is that? Is that a power slug? Just sitting there? That seems like an odd place for it to be. It's just on the ground. But I'm not complaining if that is. I just feel like there should be more to it than that. Why is it just there? The only reason I know that guy is okay is because he's, he's in the other place as well. Why is this one just out in the open? That's weird. <laughs> There's another one. What? Man, they made it really easy on this map to get upgrades. Oh, no, wait. That one's going to be a bit harder. That one's... Uh, that one's got some some friends are surrounding it. Oh, no. Okay, so there is there is some enemies around here. Oh, is there a cave? There are actually some caves that you can find in the original map. In the grass map that I'm on. And I don't know if there's going to be any here. That's why we're... That's mostly why we're going to be exploring a little bit. Ah, oh, yeah, you see, it's it's in there, but there's a lot of poison around. Mm. Might be able to make it. Yeah, sure, I'll risk it. This is bad. This is bad. How much damage is this doing? Quite a lot. Come here. Is it? Ah, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get you. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Eat my way out. Uh, <laughs> okay. Woo. That is dangerous. Okay. Yeah, I might need to might need to heal up eventually. <laughs> so do scanning for enemies actually does that actually work? Oh. oh shit. It does. Wait, what is that? That's not an enemy. That's something else, isn't it? Wait, are there enemies nearby? Because I saw something shining up there. Well, I guess I should heal up with the remainder of my berries. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's some more berries there. Okay, good. How am I meant to get up to that? What is it telling me there's up there? If, there's, if I'm looking for enemies and... I'm confused, because that didn't look like an enemy. That looked like... Ah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it up there. I could... You know, I could build a foundation ramp. I guess, right? I don't see why not. 
Uh, there we go. <laughs> I can just delete it later. There we go. I suppose that is a wonder of of me being able to build wherever I want, and it's easy enough to remove. Oh, it's one of these things. Ah, I see. That's why it's going crazy. Wait, I don't have my weapon on me. Ah, oh, that's one of those orbs, though. I think, right? Is that what that Mercer sphere is? Yeah, it definitely is. I don't know what if that's used for anything yet. Man, I need to come back here with my weapon then, because... Oh, there's a lot of them. Dang it. All right, well... I didn't realize I didn't have my weapon on me. Wait, is there another one nearby? There might be. Out there somewhere. <laughs> God, this place is big. And very pink. I, I like how the fog is pink. A nice thing about going out and exploring the world, trying to find these things, is that we leave our equipment to basically do its thing. And that way, we'll be able to come back and have a nice chunk of material to use when we're actually done. Alright, I'm gonna... Oh! I have two? Two slots? Oh, I see! I don't think that was there before. I wonder how you swap between them. Well, I'll find out when I get my weapon, and I'll have both equipped. Unless it's like one in one hand... And the other in the other? That'd be neat. I didn't even know if you could dual wield in this. That'd be cool, though. Let's find out. I'm curious, because I've not... I don't think I ever bothered testing this. So we have this. How do you, how do you swap? Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay! That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so yeah, this is making the concrete. In the right yeah nice good 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 so how are we doing on our production can we just finish the utility thing that we're going for i'm curious i would like that if we just have enough to be able to do that <gasps> we might oh bitch we might there's enough of them oh we do hell yeah 50 50 pam and then 500 of that nice let's just chuck these in and this is going to be slightly different now because we're not upgrading the hub anymore. We are launching a pod, which you can actually see right there. So now we hit the button, which is very... Oh, I love this. It's very satisfying. <clears throat> and then... Milestone reached. You have unlocked several up it goes. Aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure. Additionally, the biofuel blueprint will ensure improved fuel consumption of biomass burners. Whee! Additionally, you can now build the space elevator, which is integral to your contribution to project assembly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could already make one of those. All right, I'm going to turn these off. I might overload the, overload the energy for now. Turn them off. Turn them off. Okay. So now we have no fuel because I want to maximize the efficiency of what we're doing. Do I actually have enough wood to make any more? Oh, I do. There we go. So the biomass fuel uses the biomass itself and makes it into a much more effective form of fuel. It burns and lasts a lot longer. Of course, it doesn't mean we're going to have to divide it by three, but that's fine. Uh, about there. And about there. I was a little off with that, but that's fine. Uh, there you go. That's good enough. Okay. So now we'll put these in. Bop. Bop. And bop. And turn all of these on. I mean, I could have actually left them on considering uh, it's all about this switch. Oh, chunk. There we go. See, these burn. Well, actually, that might be, that might be left over from the previous burning thing. Yeah, these burn way slower, so they'll last quite a lot longer. And if we get a lot of biomass and convert it all into the fuel, basically, uh, we're going to do really good. All right. Kind of curious to go and get that orb. I kind of want it just as the last thing we do in this episode so I can see if it actually makes something yet. So I'll be right back. Wait, are these different? That one took, that one took extra long. Is there more of them? Whoa. Are these different boys? 
They don't seem to be as sporadic, and they took two shots to get down, I think. Oh god. Ah, no. Oh. 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 Ah! Ah! Oh, they are different! What? Interesting. Ah, the other one's protecting the orb. Yeah, these are different ones. Oh, shit. Interesting. Ah, you. Ah, come here. Ah. Ah, I got one. One hit in. Ah. Yeah, there we go. So these must be the upgraded versions. Ah. Mercer Sphere. Whip. Okay, so they're still work in progress. I guess it can't do anything with them yet. Well, we have it. Work in progress. Analyzing this will not give you anything. Okay. Good to know. At least I know now that they aren't used yet. But we have one. Just in case, I guess. <laughs> Either way, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. We'll continue to upgrade and automate everything. And work towards making a cool base. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Throw us a like if you did. I'll catch you next time. Take care. Okay, thanks. Bye. Come on!